Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. It has been a while. I was having uh, troubles with some game files and finally, hopefully I figured it out and was able to get back into my world. So uh, I have been putting in the work. So without further ado, uh, let's take a gander at what else is new. I mean, as you guys can see from my last episode, I told you about my uh, roof. I finished it. I have more additions to the family, guys. Uh, we got Roscoe. We got Rita. They are a couple, and these are their babies. Uh, one of them is going to be Rover, and the other one... I need a name. I need a name. And then our cat, Skittles, of course. Without further ado, uh, I swapped... I changed a few things in the base. I got more blast furnaces. Put out cake because, uh... Someone's birthday uh, be at the coming up, and uh, you know who it is? It's mine! It's almost my birthday. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's take a little, little, little peek down in the hidey hole. Um, I moved around my uh, lava farm and uh, increased my number of cauld collection cauldrons. And oop that there real quick. Just don't pay attention to that stuff down there. I haven't gotten around to fixing all that stuff down there yet. Uh, I made an auto smelter. So uh, you click this doohickey. The that chest goes and puts the stuff that needs to be smelted. And then the see it on that backtrack. That's the one that uh. Feeds the fuel into them, and then it all gets deposited in this chest. So as you can see, I have just been taking all the freaking cobblestone from freaking mining and whatnot and turning it into smooth stone, because let's be honest, smooth stone is way better than freaking cobblestone. Has a much cleaner look, much nicer look. Let's put these right here. There, that's better. That's more organized. Oh, <gasps> I have cobblestone in my inventory, and you'll see why here in a sec. And I got freaking ton of dirt and copper. Hmm. Spoilers. So yes, I got my auto smelter up. I have uh, expanded my lava farm. This stuff you guys have already seen, but. Let's go down this next small hidey hole, shall we? I have yet to harvest anything from this because I just finished setting it up. But, uh... Huh. I'm beginning to wonder, will pumpkins and... Watermelon spawn on other blocks besides just dirt. Um, let's quickly Google that. Oh my gosh, if I could spell. Grow on. Let's just say cobblestone. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, that was something I did not know. Is, uh, that's why this hasn't been producing. Because you gotta put freaking farm blocks between them. Um, I thought I was getting all nifty schnifty, spazzy jawazzy, because, uh. Because I put nice clean stone between them. But, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to change it. 
Well, so much for that. Looks freaking sexy though, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Well, I'll alter that at a different time, but you guys get the general drip gist of it. That means I'll probably have to take out this middle row. Just poop that out and uh, just do that as a as a water water path to help water this edge. And then I'll probably take out that row where that dirt block is down and have that be the water thing. And then put regular blocks there. Ah, so freaking poopy. I tried to do this because I didn't want to uh, be like harvesting pumpkins and accidentally break the block underneath it. I thought I was so tricky. Well, I'll be getting tons back more freaking stone. Anyways. That'll help with the uh, trading when that finally is working. Anyways, the main thing I wanted to show you guys. Oh my gosh, not falling in the hole. Is this what I'm working on now. I'm w working on moving my villagers to uh, this bad boy. Oh, dang. These blocks are sexy. They're all going to start going poo green because they're gonna all going to start oxidizing. So, uh, without further ado... Put that there. Let's go. Boom, baby, boom, baby, boom. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. So, yeah, this is... Uh, I'm going to move them in here. I'm going to have them come up here. And I'm going to have a row of beds back here. Hmm. Maybe I get rid of one of the stair... How many... Maybe I get rid of one of the staircase and have this... Platform kind of like loop around so I can fit more beds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's not gonna... What are you looking at, you bum? <laughs> A dirt platform looks like freaking butt. Oh my gosh. Just do it. Just do it. Come on. Oh yeah. I got this guys. Don't mind the zombie. He just wants your toes. Oh. Yeah you bum, you're lucky it's raining or else I'd sit you on fire and watch it burn. Burn baby, burn. You freak. So if you if you see what I did on on the slayer, I did. Oh, oh yeah. Can we appreciate the sound effects of these a uh, beautiful copper blocks for us? Oh, I love it. Anyways, 
So on these sides, I put a stair and then a regular uh, one of these co copper blocks and then an upside down stair on top of those to give it that sort of uh, indentation look. I think I want to do the same. Here. Why not? I mean, it all works so uh, perfectly. Out of here, you bum! Now cows are spawning. I had to go like forever away to initially get my first freaking cows and freaking sheep. It's freaking stupid. Basically, I had to go all the way back to spawn. I mean, which isn't too crazy far. It's not like you can see my cords in the top left. They're just um, a few hundred blocks away. That's for putting the other stair up here. raise each of these corners by two. How fast do these things oxidize? That's one thing I haven't paid attention to. Because I haven't played much since they introduced these blocks. Like, if, if you were around in, uh, in my first video, I was like making a return to Minecraft, like I had taken a break from it for a while, but oh my gosh, that was really laggy. Like they had brought like the warden, I think is what that beast was. I haven't even encountered the warden yet and I'm freaking scared to, man. That dude is a freaking psychopath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we got it. We hurt our... We broke our legs in the process. It's gonna be worth it, though. Ouch. Do I have enough stairs? Dag nab it! Yeah. Crouch. Poop it in. Just... Just, just, just poop it in. I like building in, in uh, Minecraft. It is so much, so much freaking fun. Well, now what should I do? That's not what I wanted to do. Get more dirt, baby, dirt! There, now I can, uh... those guys in. I need is that like 12 on that side, another what, 5 on that, what, 4 on that. Give or take 20 more. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Let's pluck down on this hidey hole. Woo! It's the old little crap fest that my villagers have been living in. Don't worry guys, I'm upgrading it. Don't hate me. I know it's taken a while. I'm trying. I'm trying. I really do. I need more copper, man. I need more steaks, too. 
You always need more stakes. <gasps> oh, I also forgot to tell you guys. Look at this little thing. I created a little turtle oasis because I went on an adventure and I have this uh, silk touch uh, pickaxe. And I came across turtles. And I was like, okay, I have to get me some turtle eggs and bring them back. So I bred some, waited for them to lay eggs, and then harvested the eggs. And they hatched out. Uh, they laid three eggs. And then I bred those to get more. And then I made them this little thing. Got some sea pickles in there. Or, is that what they're called? Sea pickles? Sea cucumbers? cucumbers? No, sea cucumber, cucumbers are different. Those are things that are freaking like giant slugs. They're freaking disgusting. Anyways, got some kelp in there. Some seed grass. I need to uh, modify it even more. I even put some salmon in there that I just caught from out there, just with water buckets. Um, I want to uh, get some tropical fish and put them in there and get some sort of better lighting besides just the the sea pickles. I feel like that would be uh, pretty good. Honestly, I just need to find another vein of Speak of the Dawn. I need you. Oh man, that one wasn't very juicy. Man. Sometimes you get like a, a copper vein and it is like 30 blocks deep. And I'm just like, oh yeah. Um, I don't know, it's very juicy either. What is this? It's enough to get us started, though. Poop that in there. I need to uh, make my bed or make my portal area better. It's kind of gross looking. Let's grab another lava bucket. If you guys are not using freaking lava to like smelt or like alter your blocks or whatever. What are you doing? Like, setting up a lava farm is so easy. And it's so nice because, like, you don't have to save, like, your coal and just trade that to villagers to level them up. If you're going to use the stuff like that, you'd be like, oh, but I need it for like my torches and whatnot. Use charcoal for everything you can, or lava, or kill. Cause those sources are so much more renew re renewable, re yeah, renewable than the coal. I always stay, try and save my coal, unless it's like my first, first or second night. On a on a world. Oh, what am I doing? I should be having my tool out so it's repaired. Oh yeah, juicy, juicy. Oh yeah. And also, when you're changing just your copper block into the other copper blocks, always use that freaking sawmill thing. The block, the stone cutter. I have one in my village, and uh, you get so much more value for your copper doing it that way. So we need more stairs. Let's get a lot more stairs, because for the roof, I 
think what I want to kind of do is maybe like, like say this is, no, say, say this is the edge of my wall. I want to have an overhang that's at least one, maybe two. I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided. And then uh, it'll be like stairs, stairs, maybe a third stair. And then uh, the top of the roof will probably be slabs to save on materials and to uh, keep mobs from spawning up there. What are you guys all looking at? Oh, what? I need to put another bowl out here. I only got feed dishes for a three you bowl, three you, and then a fishy for skittles. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do that. In here. Oh, I also got beehives or bee nests. I guess what they're called. I also harvested those and these armadillo scoots. Uh, at the same time, when I went and got went on that adventure to try and... I, I went to find freaking cactus. Can you believe that? I had to travel like 3,000 blocks to find freaking cactus. It was stupid. But the thing that made it worth it was got the sea turtle eggs, found some armadillos, made a bunch of paintbrushes, and got loaded up with scoots. Um, I did make a portal at that village so I can go to the nether and go back to that village. But I, sh I need to just bring an armadillo back with me and just put it in my area where my animals are because I have an automatic collection system under there. And when he naturally drops any scoots, it would just naturally be uh, collected. Ooh, our copper's done. Ooh, delicious. Yes, please. What? We need, we need to quickly smell this guy. We need one more. One more block. It'll give us four more. Yes. Four more stairs. So that one of those zomboids coming out and eating my toes while I'm sleeping. Pop in the hole. Hello, Mr. Parrot Man that I fed. Now you stared down here with... The villagers probably pooping all over him, but uh, whatever. What am I doing? Um, or oh, for the roof, we could do some copper grates, then it would let natural light through, right. Yeah, let's do that, because I can turn these other cut copper into slabs if need, if need be. Let's poop that there. Because I don't think... Mobs can't spawn on these copper grates. I think that was something they said in, in the update, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be held, res held responsible if you're if you get overrun. Oh my gosh, that dirt looks like butt. But oh my gosh, with the cherry wood when it's nice and copperish, it looks so juicy. I understand it's all gonna turn green and booty, but I think the pink will still uh, accent it nicely, even when it oxidizes. I honestly should have started this building maybe a couple blocks back because I'm kind of like right in the middle of my villager hut area, but it's not the end of the world. The things I do for you villagers to make it all look so nice and pretty. And all you guys have to say is, Shove this copper block up your butt. 
Oh yeah. That looks better. I store out of here. Get rid of this stinky dirt full of worms and grubs. Come on. What are you doing down there? I also have these lanterns that I need to put somewhere. Hmm. Where should we put the lanterns, huh? Put one in each corner for now just to help. Keep it lit up so no f funky creatures, creepy crawlies spawn up here. Go away, you freaky deaky fart face. I heard you and I knew you were gonna eat me. You bum. Freaking phantoms, man. I crop dust them. You reasty stinkies. <gasps> a witch. I heard a witch. It's a witch. I'm not a witch. They put this on me. What well, movie, guys? If you haven't watched that movie at least once, you're probably deprived. Money Python in the Holy Grail. So, before I was so rudely interrupted, I think I can cheat the system and start putting great. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna need so many more grates. Holy crap, holy man. Okay, like. Maybe I don't do it all gr freaking grates. Maybe I do uh, the outside ring grates. And then the middle glass. Because I don't want to freaking be mining freaking copper for 10 freaking years. Are you kidding me? I want this to look good, but it's just, it's just a villager's house. I mean, if it was my house, it's... yeah, I'd definitely make it look freaking sexy as crap. But, uh, these villagers, man. Maybe I'll do some accent points in the middle. In the middle, I'll do like a giant. A platform of. Oh my gosh. A great platform. Geronimo, break my toes! Don't worry, steak will save us. 
76. 77. So 277 is the start of my uh, center grate. So if I come up here... Oh, poo. My shed was about to break. I had made an iron shovel with mending, and I just got carried away, and I didn't fix it. So uh, it died. No, wait, let's make a big one. It's not just gonna be four. It's gonna be more. It's gonna be me. Oh yeah. This is gonna look good, guys. Just trust the process. And you'll love it. I know you will. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be real good. What? That's one away. How? That's one away. What? Hmm. 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 I turned into a freaking villager. Oh no. Oh, I broke my toes. I'm gonna break that other row. Yeah, I'm going to break that row over there. So there's a two gap, two gap. And yoink, 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 yoink. Oh, that's so satisfying. I get my copper bat. I'll fill that in with glass, and then you'll be able to have a nice, beautiful view. That's totally blocking the sun, but I don't know. You can just go off to the side. We need to get like some pots and accent. What? Did you just go in my house? There's no litter box in here, dude. You get a poop everywhere. There not poop on my lantern. Don't do it. I think he understood. Ha ha! You're trapped forever. But yeah, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm all up to. Um, so, uh, if you want to see, you know, the finished result, you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next video, because I'm gonna keep on making stuff and fix this freaking farm. Because, uh, look, they're all primed and ready to poop out the fruit. But, uh,. My pooty dummy butt didn't realize uh, they only spawn on earth blocks. Which don't make no freaking sense. Like, seriously? Are you kidding me? As long as the seed is planted there, why can't the fruit just, like, you know, poop over onto that? I don't understand. Mojang, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, fix that, please. Anyways. Catch you on the next one. Bye now. Oh, minecart. Round and around you go. Where you stop, I never will know. Oh. Oh. <gasps>
Why, hello, beautiful. 